Hey guys, Milma here with another Xcode tutorial. In this Xcode tutorial I'll be doing UI table views and I'll be teaching you how to create sections in your UI table view. So you're probably familiar with sections because they have it in pretty much every single Apple application out there. So for instance your music app, your, all your songs are listed alphabetically in an alphabetical thing. So you have A section, B section, like that. Um, for, and in your settings app you'll have your like sound and your brightness and stuff in one little section group then you'll have your apps in another section group so they're basically sections so I'm going to teach you how to make sections for today um, before I start I just want to say a really quick apology for not doing many tutorials recently for about two weeks so um, yep yeah, uh, I'm sorry about that uh, but I don't want to blab on because that's not to do with this tutorial so uh, first of all I'll create all the new arrays we need for our sections and uh, I'll be back to you in a minute. Alright guys I'm back and as you can see I've added a, a new dog array here. I'll explain that in a minute. And I've added two new arrays here. Now the section array, pretty obvious, it's for our sections. So we're going to add our section names to this and then they're just going to appear as our certain sections and things. So if we want a dog section, a cat section, a snake section, we'll add them into this array and that's how it will be. Um, and the data, this might not be so obvious, but basically what we're going to do is going to add all of these arrays to the data array and then we can get rid of all these if statements. You know, we had all these if statements in these like self row index path and all those other ones. I can't really remember them, but um, yeah, and we just had to go if the int equals zero, we do this. Now we can just replace it with just one line of code or two lines of code. Um, just because we've added it all to this data thing so that's just shortening down our code and the dog2 array is for basically every single section has to have its own set of data so if you want three sections you're gonna have to have three arrays to go into those sections so I'm gonna have two dog sections there's there's the normal dog section for dog1 and then there's the dog2 section for dog2 so obviously you'll name those differently, you could have Labradors there and then you can have, I don't know, someone else there, Terriers there, I don't know. Um, so it will make sense when we actually come to making it. So I'm going to go into the .m here and now we need to just release and deallock all of our arrays, which I'll do in a minute. And we just need to make modifications to our make data to add our sections. So I'll do all that and I'll be back in a bit. Alright guys, I'm back and as you can see straight away I've released the two arrays here and my dog array up here. The reason I've just put my dog right there is so I can keep it all nice uh, in, in like, you know, dog with dog, not dog down here. Just my OCD. Forget about it. Anyway, um, now we'll go back to the make data void. And as you can see, I've uh, initiated these two arrays here. And I've also initiated our dog two array. And as you can see down here, I have... Uh, put a load of if statements in. Now this is the only time we will use our if statements now because as I said before we're going to be using our data array to add all our other arrays to therefore we won't need to use these if statements anymore. It will become clear later but this is the only way we're going to use our if statements again to check for the int. So uh, as you can see here all I've literally done is gone if it's zero then we want to have the dog sections so we're going to have the dog section one and the dog section two and then if it equals one then it's going to be the cat so we have a cat section and two we're going to have a snake now the reason i haven't added two sections there is because that's up to you to do i'm just teaching you how to do one for now and then you'll add it to the others later by yourself down here uh all you need to do is just change that from dog array to dog two array and now we have two objects in two different arrays so now under the dog section one we want to have dog array here and then dog one and then under dog section two we want to have dog two array and that with the object dog two now for purpose sake i'm going to add another dog in here and i'm going to call it dog two a uh just to let you know and then change the description down here to go this is dog 2a just to let you know you can have multiple um, objects in the section so not just have one object obviously that'll be a bit silly but you know just to show an example here uh, again these are the same and then down here we have a couple of if statements and these if statements are adding the arrays to the data so Again, this is the only way we're going to use the if statements anymore. We're only going to use them in this void statement. 
So if the equals a dog, then we're going to add the dog arrays to data. So every single dog array, if you have four dog arrays, add them all to here like this, data, add object, and then the array. Now if it equals cats, then we're going to add the cat arrays. Again, if you have more than two cat arrays, add all the cat arrays here. Um, and then again, if it's snake, just add the snake array. So that's so we don't have to use as if statements again in this code anywhere. Okay, now what we need to do is go down to the these methods here, the numbers of rows in sections, set number of sections in table view, self row, index path, and all those other ones. And uh, I'll add, I'll change all of these, and I'll come back in a minute to show you what I've done. All right, guys, I'm back, and as you can see, I've changed quite a lot here. So in our number of sections, we used to return one, but now we've actually got a number of sections because we've just added them. We need to return the our sections array count so that's how many objects are in our sections array so if we scroll back up here we can see in our sections array when it equals a dog we've got two objects dog section one dog section two so we need to make sure it returns two and not one let's say for the cat section so that's why we do that uh, in this one here in the number of rows in section we used to have an if statement that said if it equal dog return dog array and then yeah so on so on now because we've done that data method we only need one line of code and what we're going to do we're going to look into the data's object index at section um sorry i messed that up then object at index section and then the count of that so basically what that is doing is going into the data then it's looking at its section so basically we've had you know for the uh, dog array we added two dog arrays we have two we have dog array and then dog dog two array so uh let me kind of scroll up here and i'll show you what i mean so it looks into the section so this is this counts as one section that's another section and then it returns those counts so it returns the account of whatever is in that section so it will go in here it will go dog array i'm going to look at the account of the dog array and there is one in that one then it will go through here again it will go okay dog two array there is a total of two objects in that so i'm going to return two so that's basically what that is doing, um, that line of code there. And what I've added here is one new method. All code will be in the description, so this new method will be in as well. But this is basically setting the title for the sections, because we've got the number of sections, we just know, now need to know the title. So we return the section array object index section, so the section of the array. So it will look in here and go, okay, section that's one section that's another section so hope that kind of makes sense if you know what I mean um, and then down here in the self row index path we delete all those if statements and we add this one method here again it's relying on this section thing so cell dot text label dot text equals open three brackets and then we look into the data uh, array then we go to its section then we go in that section to that row and then we pick out that name key that we have here so it will go into the data here it will look it will go into dog array it will go up to dog array it will go into the row that was selected kind of thing and then it will go down here it will look for the key name and display the dog one and it will do the same for everything else so we're going to dog two array it will go to here we will look at the index that's been asked then it will go down here it will find the name and it will display the name here so that's what that's doing and that's how we use sections and stuff all right um so yeah that's that uh, and now we need to go down here to the did select row index path and this is going to be our final thing again we don't need these anymore so we can delete them i'll come back in a minute once i've typed all of this out all right guys i'm back and as you can see i've just typed all this out here and what we've done is we've done exactly what we did in the if statements we've just added data instead of our arrays so we just go into the data again we go into the section then we look into the row that's being clicked on and we find the key we're looking for and we do that for all the other ones as well so again i'm not going to explain that again because i've just told you previously what this section thing does um so yep yeah, that's that so if we stop here because i don't know why i'm running and then we build we should get our sections all right guys i'm back um and as you can see here, if we click on dog, we get our dog section one, we get our dog section two, 
and we get the ones we wanted in the specific sections. So instead of having dog1 and dog2 in the same section, we now have dog1 separately, and now we have dog section dog2 and dog2a, see it's got a different description, um, in our the desired sections. So this works for cat as well, see it changes, and snake as well. So there you go guys. Now just a quick thing that I thought you'd like to know is you can change the style of the sections by selecting your table view, going over here to the attributes, selecting style and select grouped. Now if we save and build and run again, you will see that we now have this weird layout here. Now I don't preferably like this, but again if you want your thing to appear like this then you can set it to that and have it appear like this. So there you go guys, um, just a kind of lengthy tutorial on sections there. Any questions just ask me in the comments, I will try and answer as many as I can, although I have been very busy recently so that's why most of them haven't been answered, sorry for that. Um, so yep, yeah, hope you enjoyed that, that's how you do sections, that's how you get them into their own sections, blah blah blah, basically everything we just learnt in the video. Um, yep, yeah, and next tutorial should be on setting the image of the row. So instead of having the image in the view, the detail view, we have it in the row. So yeah, setting the actual image in the table views. Um, so that will appear there. Um, thanks for watching. Don't forget to follow me on Twitter at failcake apps. A little pop up should appear down here. Um, and don't forget to comment, rate, subscribe, and click on any ads that you see in videos because that helps as well. So again, thanks for watching and see you in my next tutorial.